For those marking your catalog in the Milking Shorehorn Show, let's quickly update the placings in the junior three-year-old class. There were 10 animals shown. Entry 1569 was first in the class, spread and owned, and best utter. Core Star Presto Mango P EXP, shown by Corey and Kristen Salzal, Litchfield, Minnesota. Entry 1570 scratched. 1571 was fourth. 1572 was sixth in the production award winner. 1573 scratched. 1574 was ninth. 1575 was 8th, 1576 was 10th, 1577 was 3rd in the first junior, Heavenly Cream Puff, shown by Jonathan Clark, Cornish, New Hampshire. 1578 was 7th in the second junior, MPS Famous Penny 211 EXP, shown by Clayton Schwenden. And now we invite you to check out the beautiful cows in the senior three-year-old class here in the Milking Shorthorn Ring. Our judge has completed his placings. I will announce our winners at this time. The second place junior is entry 1586, Holy Air Mud Christi, shown by Noah Heine, Helenville, Wisconsin. Our first place junior is third in the class, Mar Lee Presto Juliet EXP, shown by Mary Sweeney of Bergen, New York. Second place in the class is the production award winner, entry 1582, Trillo Zeus Lala E.T., shown by Tristan and Willow Upchurch, and Susan Lee to Larry, California. At two years, six months of age, 278 days, she produced 19,545 pounds of milk with a 4.8 percent fat, 948 pounds of fat, 3.5 percent protein, and 690 pounds of protein. Winning the class, the honors of best utter and bred and owned are entry 1589, BDF Madness Marsha, shown by ba Dallas Butts of BDF Farms, Cory, Indiana. Congratulations. And now to Judge Banky for his reasons. Not the largest class of the day, but five quality cows here. But I feel two cows that separated themselves. And I think it's a, a close placing. But this cow in first today has the best udder. She's smoother and tighter in the fore udder attachment and higher at the point of rear udder attachment. Both cows walk out equally well on their feet and legs. I do admit that the second cow is just a bit more... Uh, uh, in bloom today, got a little more pop to her udder, is a little more uh, feminine and open in her rib and a little cleaner hided today over the first cow, but a beautiful pair of cows. The second cow over the third cow, she has more seam between her rear quarters today. She is more angular and clean cut and thinner down through her thigh than the real balanced cow that comes in third. The third place cow uses her advantage in rear udder today. She's more, got more width at the point of attachment today. Uh, than the real long-bodied cow that comes forth. That long-bodied cow in fourth uses her advantage in mammary system, having more quality to her udder today and more crease up the back of her udder than the roan cow that comes in fifth. Thank you.